All right, it's the big day. Setting posts for the chicken coop. For Hi, by the way. Uh, for the chicken coop that we're gonna build. Last March, we made the big leap. We bought chickens. With having no knowledge, no clue what the heck we're doing, we bought 10 chickens that all survived. And uh, they have survived to this day because I built the greatest chicken enclosure of all time. It's the Taj Mahal, nothing can come in, nothing can come out, there's an electric fence, it's just, it, it, it was absolutely perfect. The problem was, the erosion on our hill, we live on a hill, was getting so bad because chickens destroy everything if they're enclosed that uh, I was like, I, they can't stay in here permanently. So I just had to open the door, risk it, and let them free range completely. And we have our dog Chance, and it actually turned out to be really, really good. They didn't get hurt at all. They've all survived, but then we wanted to get more chickens because once you have 10, you want 100. So that's that's where we at we are at right now. We might have an obsession. We got 20 more. 20, 20 yeah, 20 more. But then seven of them died. Within like the first 48 hours, it was sad. And you know, not growing up on a farm, that was actually really hard on us. This one it is a little, its legs are kind of messed up. So I was making a video about like the getting the new chickens and the excitement and it just wasn't exciting because we didn't have that experience the first time around with the with the brown ones. So then with the black and white ones, the barred rocks, when they were dying, it was like not really fun. So I just put the camera away and said, forget it. And now we're here doing a video about how we built them this m magical chicken coop. So that's confusing. I honestly feel like I have just completely kept them a secret because it was so sad to me that they were dying. Look, I could have bought a chicken coop. I could have bought a shed, put it on some stilts and called it a day. But I said, no, I want to learn how to build a structure. And I, again, have the nicest neighbor on planet Earth, he cannot be topped. I don't care who your neighbor is. Mine is better than yours. Um, his name is Eddie, and he was like, Jordan, I will help you build a chicken coop and teach you how to build a structure if that's what you want to do. And I said, Eddie, thank you, God, that you exist in my life. So we just we we just started, dude. Eddie came over and helped me with the frame of the chicken coop. It's really coming together. Got a lot more to go, but we've got to decide about like just kind of how we want it to look now that we have what the heck is going on. Now I know not everyone has an Eddie next door. So if you want to learn a new skill, I would highly suggest Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people. Explore new skills, develop existing interests, and get lost in creativity. A really cool class I've been taking is Introduction to DIY, Becoming a Maker by Mark Frauenfelder. It's a class about how the design world works to spark your interest in making things. Instead of just buying them. It's a super unique class and one of the most valuable I've ever found. Skillshare is curated specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads and they're always launching new premium classes, so you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. Whether you're a dabbler or a pro, a hobbyist or a master, you're creative. Discover what you can make with classes for every skill level. The first 1,000 of you to click the link in the description below will get a one month free trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today. When you support our sponsor, you're directly helping me pay for the inflated price of the wood for this chicken coop, so thank you very much. I will say I think it is the greatest chicken coop of all time. I am biased, but I am right. This thing is ungodly how strong it is. It's ungodly. It's a slanted roof, like a shed roof, because it's the easiest, and I borrowed the metal from, well, I didn't borrow it, you know, once you're using this something, you're using it. I took it, I stole it from my with neighbor. With permission. With permission. with permission. She didn't want her chicken coop, and she said, just whatever you want, just you can take it and then build yours. So I just took the metal, and that's what I used for it. I think the thing that I'm most proud of, of the chicken coop, is the door. I built this door. Eddie helped me with everything on this, minus the trim. I did the trim all by myself, which I'm very proud of. And this door I did by myself. And 
I am super proud of how it turned out. I just, man, it's just so good. So let's take a look on the inside. I built uh, three different ramps for them to climb up. Uh, and, and, and I don't even know how many can fit in here. Like just... I have to say like almost 40, I would think. Yeah, it's quite a few. They're it's pretty crazy. roomy. They've got lots of room. We built one, two, three, four roosts for them, and this over here has, I think, one higher over. Th no, it doesn't. But the nesting boxes are. I wanted them to be on the outside of the coop so they didn't get pooped on and it wasn't like gonna be in the way. So I'll show you that out here. The door is from Chicken Guard, which they make awesome uh, automatic door openers. You can have a feature that kind of opens and closes with the light, which is awesome or you can have it set on a timer so that's a really cool thing this is our chicken box we have four i decided to go with four i could have done six but i was like you know what just honestly four just, is so good they just want to all lay in the same one anyways so like if you have six they're just gonna lay in three my egg apron this wasn't a part of the design with these windows, but you need ventilation. And so I was like, man, I'm just, that was kind of a big deal for me to cut into uh, this plywood that we had, <laughs> you know, put in place. And it was like, all right, I guess I'm gonna cut into the plywood now after it's like totally done. The thing about our house is, I don't know if you can tell ever, but we live on a really big slope. And so we have to be extremely creative uh, about how we do everything around here so we can't just if you look over here we can't just build things you know <laughs> it's not that nothing is level everything is harder on a hill so we had to concrete into the ground these posts so that it would obviously be level and they love going underneath and digging right here so it's kind of yeah. a nice little cool spot for them on hot days. This used to come up to here. This dirt used to come up to there. And <laughs> they've, they've like dug, dug it, it out. out quite a bit. But I really like this little light. I think it's really cute on it. And it's not really bright, so it doesn't like disturb them, but it's solar powered and it's just like a little bit of light. For some reason we have to come out here at night. We'll close this up because they seem to be going to sleep now, but whenever I do a project. It's never just doing a project. It's never just building a chicken coop. There's always steps before doing that. Well, this time, the step was building a fence that separated the front and the backyards and building three gates, which is something I've never done before. So here's the first gate. Again, it's on a slope, so nothing is, everything is angled. It's all angled cuts. This one is the same thing. I'm not gonna be conceited, but you're not gonna find a better gate than this gate right here. And then I have one more down at the bottom of the hill. So that's one reason why this took so incredibly long because I had to build the fence and the gates. And before I could build the fence and the gates, I had to build this like big crazy stone wall down at the bottom. <laughs> it was intense. It was an intense project. Meanwhile, they're just getting bigger and bigger and bigger and, and so finally, there in there now. I even had to move that propane tank from this side of the fence because it was right here where the chicken coop was. After I built this fence, Eddie came over with his tractor and we moved the propane tank from there to there. And then we were able to start building this. But this gate is beautiful. Doesn't this look like beautiful? I love it. <laughs> yeah. I love it. And it's cool. I've got this thing. You can pull this fully and then it opens up. So it all turned out super well. I'm extremely proud of it. And uh, that's life right now. Check out Skillshare. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, we'll see you next week. Bye.